My project, in particular, is looking at why some people get Parkinson's disease and why some people don't, and also what determines how old people are when they get the disease. Uh, we are targeting a specific uh, uh, type of family, uh, families which have uh, mutations in a particular gene uh, that, that predisposes to Parkinson's disease. So and when this, this particular uh, gene is altered, it increases someone's risk for Parkinson's disease by a, a lot, but it certainly still doesn't determine whether or not they get the disease. I think it's, it's extremely important to fund Parkinson's research in Canada because of a number of factors. The disease will be more common as people get older in Canada, and uh, it's, it's hard actually to find a family without somebody affected by Parkinson's disease uh, in, in one or more close or distant relatives. It's a chronic disease and it affects people for many years of their lives. And uh, it's a disease uh, for which we still have many questions that are unanswered. We still don't know what causes Parkinson's disease, although we have some clues both from the environment and from the genes. Uh, we don't know what determines how fast somebody progresses with Parkinson's disease, and that has to give us some ideas about um, what promotes the disease process, and then if we understand that, some targets to, uh, to try to slow it down. Um, and uh, so I think that it's, it's very important to find answers to those questions, and for that we can't avoid uh, needing, needing money to fund the research to get those answers. We don't know why some people with this, this predisposing factor get the disease and why some people don't. And so we're going to be applying a risk factor questionnaire uh, to people to try to find some of those factors that additionally beyond the gene uh, make some people get it earlier or later or not at all. And we're doing this in an international um, group of people. Uh, because we need big numbers to, to try to find the answers to these questions. And so we have translated the qu questionnaire in a number of different languages, and our pilot project funded by the Parkinson's Society of Canada will give us the chance to, to establish this questionnaire and, and find out whether or not it works well in the different, uh, different countries and different settings.